and welcome to Two Girls Full Cups. I'm Monica. I'm Tristan. And welcome. Today is Friday. Second Friday. Day of fall. Second day of fall. And we just completed a TikTok challenge. Not even a challenge, a recipe. Uh, where you mix fireball and pineapple juice. And it's supposed to taste like pumpkin pie. Yeah. It's seven out of ten was pretty seven good. Seven out of ten. It's got the spice. But it's fruitier and better. I hate pumpkin pie. I hate pumpkin pie. But I would drink this. I would drink this. This is a good shot. This is a good shot. It this is. It's better than a Mexican candy, would you say? I I think no. No. I don't love pumpkin pie, but I love Mexican but candy. This doesn't taste this is seven out of ten. <laughs> it was a ten, I'd say it tastes. I like, like both. I like both shots the I'll same. The best shot I've ever had is the green tea. The green tea shot's amazing. And the rim tastes like a sour mm. patch. Candy. Only on some. If they put some first, it's sour, then you drink it, it's sweet. Gets literally. it like it literally, like just literally feels so thirsty. <laughs> so speaking of weird ass noises, um, wow. I wasn't gonna bring this up, but. I found out something that I didn't know about Tristan like the other day and then she did it for me today and it's not embarrassing. <laughs> I can't believe you can do it. So we were at work and we <laughs> something came up and <laughs> Tristan said that <laughs> because she's home alone a lot that sometimes she acts like <laughs> a dog. And I can sound just like a Rottweiler almost. <laughs> oh, they were talking and about Monica that. goes, Shh. Shh. tell anyone. And I was like, I don't care. I literally do that all the time. And I made her, and I made her show me that she got on all fours. Only to feel more comfortable. Because if I was just in front of her barking, that would feel more weird than well, being on fall. When did you start barking? Like when? I have like never three, heard you bark before. Like four years ago when I noticed I sounded just like a dog. <laughs> so then I tried to perfect it. And now I growl. The growl's really <laughs> where it's at. <laughs> you had like I heard her do it and a she, raspy she, growl she like I'm behind she literally went behind a corner, got on all fours, and started like barking like a dog and she, you had that warble? You yeah. had the warble. Yeah, you did. I had the chuck chain on. <laughs> she was pulling me back. So, that's me. She judges. <laughs> no, I just cannot believe that you've got it all fucking fours and barked like a dog. Uh, <laughs> wait. Would you not? Do you, would you rather me stood regular? <laughs> Which is more like regular a, for you? Like a singer with like stabbing. Don't say like, neither because you asked me to do it. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to get on all fours to get comfortable. Well, I'm not going to sit here and bark at you. <laughs> Psychopath. Jeez. Oh, wow. I get into character when I get into character. Okay? You did. You gave it your all. Mm -hmm. Fully committed. I didn't remember push the back leg out. Like, she pushed like I was it. pushing some sand. <laughs> Like a dog that I didn't like had been there. <laughs> Pushed my back off. <sighs> so yeah, that <laughs> happened today. Um, <sighs> and then last weekend... We went to San Diego and it was amazing. Yeah, so fun. We planned a girls trip. <sighs> Me, her, two of our friends. We went to a, the best Italian food, huh? Did you think it was so delicious? Let's talk about the train. It we was took hot. a train. Hated it. I'll never take a train again without AC. We got to meet Brian with the boombox. Oh. DJ Brian. Remember, I never spoke a word to Brian. Yeah, you, you did not like him immediately. You're like... Anyone who is loud and comes up to me in my face, I'm just going to look away. No, you did answer a question when he was like, does anybody want to hear this type of mu any type of music? And you said music, and he was like, no, I'm not going to play that. <laughs> That's how you call him, DJ What did Brian. I say? Oldies? Maybe. Or gangster rap. Maybe it was gangster rap. West Coast days. gangster rap. Fuck the East Coast, I probably said. And then we were enemies after that. It was, yeah, and then Brian told me to stick my head out the window of the train. She did. It was cool. So did I. And then 
then I stuck my hand out and she pulled it in like a mother. She went too far. Like, she went too far. Don't do that. She went way too far. It was fun. Yeah, but no, the train was really cool. I liked that. I hated it. It was hot. If my curtain was open on the side of the ocean, there was a big sunny glare at us with no air. I could have swore I felt air conditioning. There well, was air conditioning. Her head was hanging out the window. <laughs> Your extensions were down here. Your regular was <laughs> flying up like Don King. You're all, I feel air. Well, that's because you let yourself hang out and pull me back in. I was so hot. It was horrible. Oh, I was so hot right now. But they had so oh, much fun. Oh. Kim had a great time. It was fun. On the train. I had a great time. I mean, I had a great time. I just don't the, want to the tell hardest you. thing about the train is walking on the train. I don't know how many people I accidentally bumped into because it was it's not it smooth. It's like this, and, and people are giving me so from many cart to cart. Yeah, oh, it moves. Yeah, like you feel like you're like one of those like bandits in the cowboy movies going from train to train. It's pretty cool. Something crazy happened, and we found out my aunt was on the train, and she goes, "Wait, I'm at this cart," and I go, "I'm at this cart." I go, but are you moving? Yeah. I go, okay, well, I'm sitting down. She goes, no. <laughs> you can come to my car. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't know you could walk around on the train and switch carts. It was insane. They even have a drink cart on the top. That's And no wonder they give you lids for your cups. Because mm -hmm. I almost... The whole walk. You're the whole walk is awful. But the train was cool. Our hotel was nice. We ate at this Italian restaurant. It was so delicious. That flatbread. flatbread with ricotta and, and honey. honey was delicious. Ooh. It was Ooh. so good. The only complaint I had is, can we get a little extra more honey? Like an extra side of honey would have been good. Like I wanted a little bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. good. Yeah. It was really good. So good. The veal was good. What else did we have? Crab cakes. I lightly remember that. I remember thinking everyone ate it <laughs> and didn't give me any of it. And Kim was like, There's, we gave you some. I'm like, I, I never ate me. And I look at my plate and they had cut me a little piece and put it on my plate. Mm, what a friend swear. What a friend swear. Yeah, but San Diego was cool. Um, we went to a couple bars like the next day. Oh, we went we to like a We got lost that night. Yeah, so. we walked a lot. Our maps weren't working. No, nobody's were, and it had us walk like two miles out of the way. Um, we had to talk to a construction worker or security guard, but he was wearing orange. We're really not sure what he was. He might what have been a patron. Again? Abraham. Abraham. Thank uh, you, Abraham, for calling us an Uber. Father Abraham. <laughs> His name was Abraham, and me and our other friends started singing that Bible song. Thank you, Abraham, for getting us an Uber. We got us an Uber because we, we were annoying. lost. Because <laughs> we were lost. Because <laughs> we, we were lost. annoying. He was like, get the hell out of here. Get lost. So every as we kept walking, everyone's like, how much further? And I just kept going. It's right around the corner. But the... 1.2 miles would never go away. And I kept telling Kim, shh, don't tell anyone that <laughs> somehow it keeps staying the same amount of time no matter how far we walk. I don't know. I, I... And then Jen's phone said the same thing. Yeah, it was very confusing. So we got an Uber. We went to, um, that's when we went to the Italian place. And then we went to Punchbowl Social. Yeah. That was cool. We had like bowling and everything in there. I lost my ID. And the crazy thing is, when I was looking for mine, everyone looked. Kim had her ID, and she had Kim's, and I looked at Jen and go, do you have mine? <laughs> that was we, the weirdest thing. We did something thing. tricky. And I have no funny. idea why me and Kim had drive, or each other's driver's license. I don't know Which how. Which would make me think, maybe that's why mine's gone. No, Jen didn't we have We did some sort of weird driver's license <laughs> that switch. I can't remember. Let's do a little switcheroo. Nope. Jen had hers because she's responsible. <laughs> you two did something crazy and mine's unfindable. That's so weird. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. It tastes like fall. It's more apple cidery. Yeah. But it tastes, it tastes, it tastes good. Yeah. Better like than it. pumpkin pie. Better than pumpkin pie. So, punch bowl. 
punch bowl was cool. We had this big punch bowl of alcohol. With teacups and a ladle. And I remember your uncle dunked just, just the cup in <laughs> instead of the non -stop. ladle. Non-stop. Oh, and he her was and I um, kept getting all... Yeah. What? So we... He's like... Yeah, we had so much fun. We got to hang out with her and her uncle, like, unexpectedly. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It was nice. I like them. They're, They're really nice cool. People. They are. Um, and then we went and we checked out some, like, bars the next day. Um, we had a Mexican candy shot at one of the places. But all the places that we went to, they were just different. And I've come to the realization that I want to move to San Diego. I want to live there. It's so, there's so much to do. I'd like to visit her often. <laughs> our other friend has been packing her house because yeah. she wants to move that badly. Yeah. So we're going to go stay with her. Yeah. And fill um, it out. But I am, I'm moving to Texas, so I've been to San Diego. I know what it's like, and I've, I'm moving to Texas. I love San Diego. I just love it. It's so mm -hmm. beautiful. The weather's nice. There's just so much to do. I feel like we need to make this a weekly, I mean, a monthly trip. Because when we drive was... home, they were trying to plan the next week, <laughs> and I'm like, the holidays are coming. <laughs> Who cares? We can't plan that. No, we can't. You can go on a weekday. What's the next trip you guys want to plan? I'm solving in Santa Barbara on a train. Has to be in the cool. The cool <laughs> it needs to be on an air conditioner. Yeah, and not taking a hot train like we're in the 40s <laughs> in June. <laughs> in petticoats. <laughs> Petticoat junction. Oh so my yeah, goodness. So, yeah, our next trip that we're thinking of is, you know, San Diego, but then also maybe check out Santa Barbara solving. Yeah. Our next for sure trip is Hawaii. 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 I'm so excited. Me too. That's a big one. That's seven days. Seven full days in paradise. Yeah. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm even excited to go to Disneyland. I can't wait for Disney. I can't wait. So Disneyland, we're going to be... The kids are going to be teenagers and we're going to... I have, I have Live 360 on my kids' phone. <laughs> we're going to know where they are. And we're going to do a scavenger hunt. Yeah. And I can't wait to record us being crazy. Cannot wait for Disney. So, have you heard that Adam Levine was, like, talking to some chick on, like, what, Instagram? Yeah. And he's married to a freaking Victoria's Secret model who's pregnant with his third child. Which really means... No matter how good you look, someone's going to cheat. And I'd like to screenshot the roasts I did. And I need to read them to you that I enjoyed. <laughs> Adam Levine's the type of guy to say, Ah, without me, whenever a girl says I'm about to take a shower. <laughs> you know those guys? Yeah, I'm going to take a shower. Without me? Yeah. Uh. Forever without you. Even if yeah. we're together. There's not a lot of room in the shower. I like... I like to take my, my time. Leg when I'm shaving, <laughs> everything. If I'm doing a deep conditioning treatment, yeah. You yeah. mean to tell me Adam Levine DM'd this to you and you still fucked him? Be real. <laughs> You're 50 times hotter in person. So am I. Mock. <laughs> yeah. This is the last and best one. It's truly unreal how fucking hot you are. Like, it blows my mind. Someone reposted it and wrote Goldilocks trying her first bowl of porridge. <laughs> that was my favorite one. Yeah. That's he's just cheesy. a basic lame guy, I guess. Yeah, I thought he would, okay. He's like all the rest. He no, I would think songs. he would write all these songs and like he would be a lyrical gangster? Exactly. He but he's just but douchey, he's, douchey like everybody else in someone's DM. He looks douchey, yes. Tattoos right here, <laughs> the crazy hair that was bleached for a while. He looks. I'm douchey. saying his words were douchey. But I would look at him and go, douchey. Yeah. His wife. He'd look at me and go, chubby. <laughs> I'd be like, douchey. Touche. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> douche. Yeah, douche. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if you were allowed to watch these movies when you were younger, but were you, able, were you allowed to watch Hocus Pocus? 
I watched it the first time this winter. <sighs> well, now I wasn't. Yeah, she wasn't Anything allowed to watch. Anything about witches or magic? Yeah, yeah, she wasn't allowed to. But in like nine days, Hocus Pocus Two is coming out. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I think I'm more excited than my kids. Cause. I don't think it'll be that good. I saw the last one, the first one. The last first year. one, I think, is most okay. I think what it is is the first one for for if you were my age when I watched it. I think it's mostly like nostalgic. Yeah, absolutely. It's and just so when nostalgic. I watched it, I was like, give me a break. <laughs> Girl, I can see the string. Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't, they're not really good at their, um... This is like Sabrina the Teenage Witch <laughs> I was allowed to watch that for some reason. Why were you allowed to watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I really Witch? don't know, because it was on TGIF, I think. Call your parents and ask them right now why you were only able to watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but you couldn't watch Focus Focus. I don't think my mom liked that. Also, I wasn't interested in anything scary or witchy. Um, I told my dad today how scared I am of Dracula with discussed this before. It's when not I'm, real. When I'm cold, I have, or when I'm hot, I have to keep my neck covered. My feet can be out. So <gasps> I just don't like scary things. You just rock feet up. And witches are actually real. So. Yeah. What about feet? <laughs> O-M-G. Grown toenails? No. No. Okay, so <laughs> she likes to send me videos of weird things like like ink grown toenails that Being have moved that look like <laughs> Korean barbecue. <laughs> I literally feel so bad. If I have to watch it, I feel like I need to show someone else. <laughs> she needs to make me watch it. So I'll it. send it to her. She'll run. I can't watch it. I'll send it to my sister. My sister the other day wrote a stop sign in a hand <laughs> like this. <laughs> Because she likes to send us disgusting videos. I can't even watch freaking Dr. Pimple Popper. I can't. Oh, I can't, but I do do it. You're I'm grossed out just, while I do it, but I have to keep seeing uh, But the, things, the thing is, is I you start like... to send you videos? I start gagging and I want to throw up. I, I can't help it. I can't help it. Well, I do too, but I still want to see <laughs> You what power I, through it? Yeah. I can't power through it. I've got to tell you this. I have popped a cyst on someone to where it shot at my face. <laughs> That's happened to me too. I remember that. <coughs> By the way, yeah. <coughs> I did it again. <laughs> Weeks later and it shot at me again. And that was my karma for not learning. And it was a disgusting, cheesy <laughs> cyst. Because <coughs> cyst, the bacteria is under there for a long time. Can we not? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw <laughs> up. I'm gonna throw up. So I'm one of those who like if I it's not that I like to see it, it's that I if I see something, I hate that it's there and I have to get rid of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, and when you get rid of it you send it to me and then I feel like I have to get rid of all the contents in my stomach because I just can't hang. That may be a really good diet plan. You <laughs> can't hang now. <laughs> Oh! Challenge accepted! I'm gonna send you weird shit! And I'm gonna look at it. Like it or not, I'm gonna keep watching it. I'm gonna Unless send you some weird Dracula. stuff. Because <laughs> then I won't be able to hey, say, I'm scared to death of that know guy. your weaknesses, huh? I know your weaknesses. Well, what about my thing that looks like Dracula, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Never know. But speaking of fee, when we were in Texas, she showed me a TikTok video that I was totally okay with. And it was this like little metal tool. And they were like using it on their feet. And they were like scraping the dead skin off of the feet. And I obviously bought two. One for me, one for her. I totally forgot I ordered them. And then, the, and then it came in the mail in like a little envelope. And I was like, this is like one of those weird things that Amazon sends you like seeds. Yeah. yeah, I've never gotten the seeds or the razor, but no, I but I opened, but I opened it, and it was exact, and I was like, oh my god, I forgot about these. So I like tried it out, and I loved it. And um, there's like a whole method that I figured how to do it. So I told her, and she was like, dude, my feet are so soft. So when we were in San Diego, our feet accidentally touched, and I was like, oh my god, our feet are so soft. And we rubbed them together, and like we were giving high fives at how soft our feet. And the whole time I was doing mine, I was like, don't bleed, don't bleed, don't bleed. But I just kept going. <laughs> we high-fived our feet because they we were, were really so proud soft. of them. 
they're so soft. They're so, my feet are soft. As well. <laughs> what? My feet are soft as hell. <laughs> they're like little floats. They're like so the downy. <laughs> My foot touched her. I was like, "Damn, it's so soft." She goes, "Yours is too." And then we like rubbed our feet yeah, together, and then we're like, "All right, good night." <laughs> this is weird, but I had to give you a shout out for those soft feet. Thanks. It's that's all, the best. All thanks to you and Amazon and that TikTok. My you. disgusting TikTok. <laughs> not an ad. This is not an ad. We should get the toenail remover. No razor that they use. They use this razor. Wait, who needs it? Every one of my toenails is in there. <laughs> Ow! Do you wear tight shoes? I think a lot of weight impacts my feet. My weight? Maybe I think it's the way your toenails grow. My lady. <laughs> my lady. My pedicure lady last week and goes, Would you like me to get the same brown one? I know I didn't even know I had one. That's how used to them I am. Unless they're really bad. I don't even know I have them. We have these things where you like put under the nail and it like and it like you open it and it's supposed to help you. You can get them on Amazon. There's a plastic thing you can slide under. My sister sent it to me. I lost the link. I want it though. You're gonna have some nice ass feet after all of these. I have just like a regular toenail that doesn't do the <laughs> trumpet nails. It starts growing in a circle. I have the trumpet toenail. <laughs> What? So what? trumpet nails is when they start growing like <laughs> around under. Aww. And it was two summers ago and I walked to Jamie's house. We were gonna go smoke and I to look at my trumpet nails and of course she had to be like, What? And she's little and like got down really low and like just started laughing and I was like she's like, What's wrong with them? I'm like, Don't you see they're growing under? She's like, Did you make that up? I'm like, No, I looked it up and it's called trumpet nails because it's a trumpet. She has trumpet now. No, there's training now, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you are right. It might just be how my channels grow under. Yeah. Might be genetics. Yeah. Go look at your parents' feet. Maybe they have trumpet nails. They have perfect square toenails. Do they? Both of them. Mine are pretty... Square and perfect. Kira always has ingrowns. She said her thumbnail was ingrown. <laughs> I was like, get away from... Not it! Don't touch me! You don't get give that. me one of my fingers for that. <laughs> you didn't get that from me. I don't want to finger it on my finger. <laughs> it's been your dad's. Yo, right. daddy. <laughs> you got that from your daddy. Don't touch me with that. Touch <laughs> it onto me. I don't want that evil on me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we've talked about quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Toenails. Disney. Soft feet. Pimples. Cheating. Cheating. Being trains. <laughs> cheating. DJs. Yeah, everything. Really. Ricotta. Flatbread. Honey. Uh, cheesy things yeah. coming out of oils. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just keep thinking of the stupid videos that you send me, and I'm like... Cheesy. You know what price smells oh. like? Cheese looks oh. chunky. Uh. Yet gooey at the same time. <coughs> it's coagulated almost. Stop! Uh, I'm gonna throw up. Isn't it? Yeah. Alright, well thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up, but thank you.